Great. Great. She she will win by all the seats. You think so? All positive. Okay. Um, what was your assessment of the administration so far? Well, the, well, the do some some of them need a little, little more work, little more work. But when let she come, we get all the seats. And you said you think that she will get about all the seats. Is that an indictment on the Democratic Party? What do you think is happening on the campaign? They ain't ready yet. They they ain't ready yet. They ain't ready yet. I've, I've, I've had more time, but we ain't, we ain't, we ain't got no problems. She's safe. And I think Mia is doing a really good job. Good, good job. Yeah, I'm one of the people that going to put her back in. <laughs> right, go ahead. It's a brilliant move. And um, she's thinking. And um, she has her plan. She understands politics. And uh, I think she's a good prime minister. And, and any thoughts about the readiness of the... the well, listen, from the time a government change, a, a, one party goes out and the other comes in, the one that goes out has all the time to get organized. So you shouldn't, you shouldn't, be, you shouldn't be caught um, napping. You have as much time as the party that one had in power, you had to prepare yourself. Mm -hmm. Simple as that. Well, the powers that be have a, a choice to do whatever they want to. I mean, hey. If she calls it slave election, it might be something that she wants to see being go forward in Barbados. Or, hey, we just live with it, you know. Um, these things happen all over the world, and Barbados is no different. So whether she do, whether you do or you die, you still have to do. <laughs> uh, what is your initial assessment of government? You know, they've been in for three years. Yeah, well, 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 they've been doing a good job, you know, but um, some people would think not. But uh, me and myself, I would, I would say that, um, you know, they've, they've been very commendable. You know, they did a lot for the poor, for the underprivileged. But one thing, one thing I must say, they should do some more for the religious people in Barbados. And what do you mean by that, sir? Well, you know, the churches are closed and we have to go on Zoom and do certain things, but ease up a bit, ease up. The Lord is still on his throne, you know, and we, we must understand that when these things come to a, a height, like the pandemic and everything that's going on in the world, the Lord will put in his appearance. So you better be ready. Did anticipate that it would come the earlier part of 2022, I didn't quite anticipate January, so it was a little sudden for me. Uh, uh, what are your initial thoughts um, from the Prime Ministers? Um, talk about what they have done, um, went into the election campaign, think it's too short, think it's what? what? What do you think about the entire thing? Um, it's, I think the, given the reality of the situation in the country, I think it's reasonable to expect it from a political standpoint to come at this time because decisions do need to be made going forward and you will want a mandate to do that. So the earlier, um, the better. So you can make those lightly hard decisions that need to be made going into 2022, 2023.